China's naval buildup, continues, and on the cards is a fourth aircraft carrier, this time nuclear-powered. The PLA Navy already has two carriers, with a third under construction. None of the earlier carriers are nuclear-powered. According to sources, the firms involved have already asked for bids suggesting work has gone beyond the drawing board stage. Meanwhile, to train its carrier pilots, the PLA Navy is readying a mock landing strip at Ling Shui, on Hainan Island. This will be a mock landing strip so that carrier pilots are trained in taking off and landing, a more difficult exercise. The Chinese buildup has forced the United States to pivot towards the Indo-Pacific, moving a considerable amount of its military hardware there. The U.S. considers China to be a primary threat to its allies, including Japan, South Korea, the Philippines, Taiwan, and Australia. It is also why the U.S. is keen to strengthen its defense ties with India, exercise Malabar now has all four members of the Quad. India too is carefully looking at the rise of China as a naval power, but doesn't expect the plan to be very active in the Indian Ocean in the immediate future. Meanwhile, an advanced Type 055 guided missile destroyer has joined the Chinese naval fleet. This is the Lhasa, with new air defense and missile defense capabilities and also, anti-ship missiles. The Lhasa, about 12,000 tons, is the second of its class after the Nanchong, which joined the fleet last year.